Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. We are in Beyond Hill and Dale. We are in a book, an illusionary book of magic with Sion. So, she wants the pink unicorn. Um, I'm perfectly fine with that. Let's grab... Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? No. Rather not. We all know what Geralt gets up to in the backs of a stuffed unicorn. So we're looking for Joss. Joss knows where the beanstalks have been buried. Oh, there's someone right there. Did we really need to mount up for this? Oh, missed that That's strike. Him. Joss. Last, they're going to rip him in six. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna do this. Ooh, these are actually pretty tough wolves. Not that tough, though. Ow. I thought I had my stamina regen, but I did not. You know, lady, you're kind of in the way there. Doing very well against fighting wolves. Remarkably resilient wolves. I know they're level 46, but still, Jesus. Okay, you're down. One left. Ow! Okay, I don't know why I didn't move. I was pressing the, the dodge button and he wasn't dodging. There we go. See, I can do it sometimes. Okay, we took a lot of damage there, but hey, the, all the wolves are dead, and that's the good thing. I'm not quite sure why my voice Relax, just broke there at the end. It's over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Ah, Fantastic. Boy who cried wolf, still does, I suppose. Well, that's why he was shouting. There are no wolves. When they oh, actually okay. appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! Okay, there's no wolves. And he knows everything. He knows everything about the beans. Um, let's talk about the red bean. This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain, no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human! The most human human in the land of a thousand fables! Everyone! Wolves! Run! Yeah, this little kid's annoying. Okay, so the most human human has swallowed the red bean. I have no idea who that is, but okay. Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody. Three times over. Help! Wolves! Okay, so it's hidden somewhere, and it's being guarded. That doesn't help me, because we already knew it was hidden somewhere. Yellow beam. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? Perfectly understandable. Okay, the yellow bean is... He said it was deep underground, but he always lies. So that means it's probably high up in the air? I'm not sure. All right. Did they trick him into telling the truth? I don't, I'm Watch confused. Okay. I think I'm going to kill that little kid if he keeps up with this much longer. Of course, he's not actually Tough real. He's an illusion. That one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, rehearses the truth. Mm -hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. You should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears... The real beach. And Goldilocks, of course. 
Then Long Locks and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, fine. Let's get to work. Okay, we've got a lot of people to go visit. Wow, okay. Oh god, we've got to go talk to all these people? But I don't like Incredible. people. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once, that sort of thing. Stole the pee out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. Oh, okay. I mean, that doesn't seem so terrible. I mean, I get, I'm kind of guessing that Siana isn't, like, terribly evil. Although she's responsible for several murders. But just, like, really pissed off with several kind of people and things. What is this unicorn doing? You co The unicorn is copying me standing on the wall. What the hell? Okay, I've made friends with a pink unicorn. Um, okay, we've got to find three magic beans. Fine. And apparently you're my quest... Stop prodding me and find the okay. beans. I just want to check, because she's got a quest marker on her, which is might mean something. Uh, right, let's go into the quest log and actually select one of these, shall we? Grandmama's house, the three little pigs, the girl who sells flint. I don't know who the girl who sells flint is. What what fairy tale is that? Three bears or long locks? I also don't know who long locks is. Hmm. Let's go long locks. Uh, do I actually have a map? I still don't have a map, so I don't actually know who is the most distant. I mean, I'm guessing that... Do we have a Goldilocks? We must have a Goldilocks. Oh, Long Locks is probably Goldilocks? Would that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, Long, you know, Long Locks, not Goldilocks, but that's fine. Ah, stuck on giant mushrooms, which I kind of expect to attack me at any moment. This game has done terrible things for me. Uh, can my Witcher senses pick up anything in here? No, it all seems very ordinary, apart from that glowing flying ball. What? What's that? What are you... Oh, it's like a will o, the, will o the wisp or something. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll try not to get too distracted. Ah! It's got something to show. Oh shit! Okay, it does have something to show. Ah! Oh, it's heading over that way. Shit! Ah! I let it get too far away. There Careful. it goes. It's not to be trusted. Oh. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it is actually a will o the wisp, and it's probably leading us into a trap. I'm going to continue eating raw meat so I can get some health back. Where did you go? Oh. Oh shit! There's a body. That's strange. Doesn't look like he's out of any fairy tale I know. Wonder how he got here. In past times, Anarietta and I would occasionally run into them here. You see, knights errant far outnumber princesses in the real world. So some knights would sneak into the playroom, then into this land, in search of their fairy tale damsels. That's all. Only to be shredded to bits by a swarm of pixies. Irony's delicious. Wait. So, like, actual people would come in here and get killed, and this was where they played as children. Does that seem normal to everyone? Does... Um... There's a rooster on top of a cat, on top of a dog, on top of a horse, over there. Um... Okay. I guess we loot the guy who died. Actually got some good stuff on him. Okay. Ooh. And now there's a... See, now I'm leaving a naked guy lying around in a children's playground. That just seems morally wrong. My sword's broken as well. I should probably fix that. My silver sword. Well, I guess we have been using my silver sword a lot. Um, the vampire oil has worn out. Uh, do, do, do. Where is my repair kits? How badly damaged are you? You're 41%. Let's use a... Uh, maybe not a master's. Let's use a journeyman's on that. 81% and we'll have to use my last amateurs one. I need to make some more of those. 96%. Okay, we should be okay. We did fight a lot of vampires. Uh, okay, um, is that actually one of the things I'm meant to be going towards? I, that rings a bell. What? What is it with the with the chicken on the on the cat on the dog on the horse? What? What is that? Why does that ring a bell? I was on stack to top each other. What was the tale called again? The musicians of Blathican. Huh. You've some link to the town as well, don't you? Mm -hmm. But my tale's not much like this one. Oh, get old, get old. Oh, me cool. I mean, I that yeah, okay, yeah, I did kind of picture a lot of people, but hey, it's fine. Okay, I still don't know what that fairy tale is, but 
fine. Right, let's go find Goldilocks. We got distracted by the Will of the Wisp, who didn't lead us into a trap. They just led us to a corpse. Wait, hang on. What the hell is that over there? Oh my god, there's so much stuff around here, and I'm getting so distracted. What the hell is that? Recognize it? Once upon a time, a terrible dragon attacked Vizima. It took a clever young cobbler to bring about its defeat. Right. Every now and again, some village idiot tries to imitate him. And I gotta come in to clean up the mess. Again, this is meant for little children to play in. That is an incredibly realistic corpse. Good lord. Okay. Um. Ooh, examine. Okay. Just one thing in its gut. A half-digested sheep. Stuffed with tar and sulfur. Of course. But no bean. Does that not disgust you? Poking about in a rotting corpse? Compared to the time I fought a Zugal in Vizima's sewers, this... <laughs> Never mind. Don't feel like telling that story again. I feel like these two are starting to, like, bond or something. Which is a bit weird, because she's been the villain up until now. Okay, so we just found a corpse of a dragon. We found the corpse of a knight, who we've nicked all his clothes. Naturally. Um, so I guess if people are able to come in... People physically enter this book. We're not just imagining this. We're actually physically here, which is why we're taking damage. So I guess all the stuff I pick up in here we can take out with us as well. I'm not sure how well illusions transfer into the real world, but... Okay. Right. We wanted to go see lo this long, long Locks. Tower. Indeed. It's even taller than I remembered. Wait. Pretty impressive. What Joss said about the third beam, remember? In the possession of a bald farmhand somewhere deep beneath the ground. Oh, yes, of course. This must be it. Let's go. In the possession of someone not bald, the, op the complete opposite of bald, with long locks, who's not a farmhand, princess or prince, um, and deep underground, higher up in the sky. That actually makes perfect sense. It always grapple up her braid in the past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing's not my strong suit. And there's a dead person here. Okay. Oop, no, okay. I've kind of fucked that jump up. Can I just... There we go. Um, I'm going to guess you tried to jump up there and failed. Prince's corpse. Tried to free long locks, but fell and broke his neck. So, how many people have come into this book since they stopped playing in it as children and have died? Because that's like two bodies we've found so far. Also, this place looks a bit... Hmm. I know the magic is deteriorating in here. The book is... Uh, not meant to last this long, so it's it's done a break. But this definitely looks more ruined than I was expecting. Anything in here? No, okay. <gasps> Hello? Is anyone here? like to speak to the lady of the house. Ooh, what was that? Oh, there's something green glowing up there. Not a fan of that. Okay, that leads up that way. There's nothing over the other side. Okay. We're definitely heading the right way. Whoa. Okay. Um... Ah, fuck me. Okay, fine. Uh, we are going to need some Yodin. There we go. Uh, I don't know why Longlocks slash Goldilocks has gone bloody insane. Oh, and Skeletal Soldiers. I guess all the people who tried to rescue her who failed, probably. Wow, that actually really feels really cool. Ow, ow, ow. You're not actually doing that much damage, though. Okay, I like fighting these guys. The kind of the one hit minions are cool. Ah! 
There we go. Ooh, I think they actually upgraded our weapon again. That's pretty fucking tragic, I'll be honest. Did that just up level up again? Yeah, damage is increased by 14 now. Nice. Yeah, killing these millions, the skeletons, that was actually really satisfying. Uh, so. Fantasy Imaginary Goldilocks hung herself with her own hair. Again, children's storybook. This is, uh, a bit weird. Is that a crib? Why is there a crib? Wait, I'm trying to remember my Goldilocks fairy tales. There was, she didn't have a baby. Expensive toys. Okay, I guess I'll take some expensive toys. And a yellow bean, yellow okay. Bean. There it is. What a stump to climb all that way for nothing. Ooh, magic food. Uh, is magic food any good? Out of interest. Magic food... No, magic food is pretty terrible, actually. Oh, five seconds, 50 health, that's not bad. Uh, can I... Oh, can I actually investigate her actual body in any way? No. I can kind of look up her skirt, which is I regret doing now. Why did I do that? Hmm. Poor life choices were made there. Oh, magical food. Oh, the magical food comes back. Interesting. Okay. So why did she kill herself? I guess because no one... We took, people took, took too long coming to rescue her from the tower. Uh, why can't I get back inside? There we go. Uh, so can I grab more magical food? Is that just like a regenerating supply of food? Oh, that makes sense. I mean, that would... Well, no, you, you wouldn't need to feed her to... She's not real. I'm confused why she would need food. I'm also not sure what I'm going to do out here. Let's have a look. Is there a way down from here or, or not? What is that? Oh, God. No, this is where Geralt falls off and dies. But we do get a lovely view from here. So that looks like the actual castle over there. Um, there are some buildings off in the distance and some ruins and stuff. I imagine they're outside the play area. You never know, though. I don't actually know how big this level is. Uh, okay, let's not jump off there. This is not Assassin's Creed. We, uh, we're we not going to make it down that way, I don't think. Maybe we are. Maybe we're meant to go down that way, but I'm not going to because it just looks dangerous. It kind of explains why this place is a bit screwed up, because, you know, Long Locks is dead. And hey, we actually managed to find one of the beans. Straight off. We didn't actually... First place we went to, found a bean. So that's one of the three done. Whoop, okay, we almost fell off the tower then. That would have been bad. Uh... Okay, we've got a little like hamlet over there. Some tiny houses over there. Those are either very far away or they're very small. Oh, that might be the three little pigs or something. Okay, that'd be cool. Um, and a wonky house over there. There's Dead Prince Charming. Oh, and more bones. Okay, skull. Like, how many people died? Oh god, there's actually tons of bodies down here. What the hell? Did I miss all these on the way up? That's like... Way too many dead people. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Hmm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead love was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. Hmm. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I knew. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Deadlove. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick and gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley, I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not?
Okay. You weren't frightened of him at all? A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me, too? Oh, mother, I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. Though, you do remind me of him a bit, stifling all emotions inside you, ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Detlaf, I... Somehow I knew, call it intuition, that he meant me no harm. That he was trying to frighten me off. Why is there a naked man walking up the hill behind scared. us? Now, do you understand? Why? I guess. Okay. Uh, this is a lot Why of exposition we're getting here. We this is talked, good. then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first. But only at first. He did not love like a man. But like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed. Let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared. Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends. Or, I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him, and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned, or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Hmm. And you're not afraid to meet him again after all that? Got a history with Detlaf now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, Detlef is in the midst of butchering an entire city with a vampire army. Um, I'm not entirely sure how she plans to control him from that or pull him back from the brink, but I think we'll discover that later. I'm going to take a break here, though, because, well, this has been a really interesting episode, I have to say. I kind of like the Fable Sphere. This is a nice change of pace. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully, I'm going to see you later for the next one of these. Bye.